people, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you my Gulfstream Innsbruck, also known as a mirror light. The model number is a 238RK. This is now the before image of what my RV looked like. Lots of brown in the bedroom there. And then the good thing is that the mirror lights are putting where uh, labeling where the TV goes and it's a stud right there. So you can simply just put your television there. Your connections are right above there for your cable and your antenna, which is on the outside and the roof. I'm walking past my slide out. Yes, this model has a slide out, which is fantastic. And as you notice in the dinette, it's brown, brown, good stuff. And then you control your speakers, your inside and outside speakers right here. And then they did the same thing. They put the TV location back in so that you can put the full full stand and then they have the connection right here that connects right up to this for your speakers and audio and all this stuff. You have your sink. This is like a pretty large sink for an RV, like a really large sink. No changes need to be done there. And then in the slide out itself, this has, the couch is pretty nice and it's actually really soft. Um, leather pleather couch. I don't know what this leather pleather. And it folds out to a full um, bed. Then you have your pantry on either side here. And then you have some storage back here. But mind you, if you're going to be using this as a um, second bed, you're going to lose that storage space. But it still has right there. So you have storage underneath the couch. Let me take a few minutes to explain to you why I bought an RV. I love tiny homes, but I just don't have time to build a tiny house. Plus I was going to school, so it just ended up being perfect. Ended up painting the kitchen and the bedroom by using spray paint, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. And then after you spray paint, you just seal it with a um, polyurethane coat and it just keeps it uh, from damaging. Now, here goes the after. Welcome to my new bedroom. I love this organization that I figured out by, by cutting shoe organizers and then either stapling them to the bed or drilling them to the bed. I'm showing my storage underneath. That's one thing that I forgot to show in the before. Yeah, I keep everything under there. And I use purse hooks on the outside of the wardrobe on both sides in order to keep my purses. And then I build the shelf on top just keep a couple of chopskis. I'm pretty happy with my art wall. I use wallpaper from Amazon, some cheap Ikea frames, and then some artwork. And then use Velcro to put them on the wall. Therefore, they don't fall off as you're driving down the street. Now you get a look overview of my new dining room set, which I've recovered. I recover all the valances and I recover the couch as well and put cute little pillows on there. I love this RV now for the laminate flooring throughout. Now I'm showing you my closet on the other side of the slide out. I actually modified this closet so I can hang more clothes in it because I have a lot of clothes. This is the after view of my television which I mounted to the wall. And I actually have straps on the back of there so when I'm driving down the road it stays in place. Here goes my pantry. And this is real life, y'all. I, I was living in my RV for 11 months, and this is how it looks. Everyone wants to know what an RV refrigerator looks like. Can you put stuff in it? The answer is yes. You just have to know how to play Tetris. But it's pretty fairly big if you plan accordingly, and then my freezer. I got these um, spice things from Ikea and they just stick on the vent hood. Very easy. I use the backsplash again, as you see from the bedroom wallpaper as my backsplash. And then I painted the cabinet there gray. This is just the after view. And then I painted the hardware, all of this uh, bronzy. Now I'm in the uh, bathroom, just showing you how it looks. And then that's my dehumidifier that I got from Amazon and an RV. Everything gets kind of muggy and wet. So you want to make sure you keep the moisture out of the air. 
I replace my shower head. Loved how it came out. The shower is pretty roomy. I used uh, a regular thing for all of my toiletries and then I got that from Ikea. It just simply turned that little knob and then it sticks right there to the glass. And then I love the fact that it has the sunlight because it makes it feel larger in the shower and you don't feel so closed in. So you don't have a storage closet for your linen so I use a wine rack. And then for the storage of all of my cleaning supplies, I bought this from Amazon. Fantastic idea to just stick on the wall and it doesn't fall off. Hope you enjoyed my walkthrough. Now enjoy some beautiful video of the RV. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and hit that like button.